Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, people in Egypt were afraid that the major black curse was going to come with the opening of that nine-foot coffin that they found deep, deep, deep in the tombs of and. Alex, uh, Alexandria, Egypt. Matter of fact, when they opened the lid, three mummies, what? Three mummies were found in this mysterious sarcophagus. It, and they opened it despite curses of, of fears of death. Matter of fact, if you believe in curses, it's always going to be a bit of a risk to open an ancient coffin and disturb those spirits. Well, the archaeologists went ahead and did it, finding three, I repeat, there were three decomposed mummies inside this mysterious black granite sarcophagus. Matter of fact, the Egyptian media had raised concerns that they could be about to unleash 2,000-year-old vengeance upon the city of Alexandria, Egypt, but things seem to be okay so far. We're not sure. It was discovered next to the stone head made of alabaster and was filled with sewer water. What? The stone casket was found during construction work for new buildings. And there you can see it. They found this about 20 days ago. There it is. It's made of stone. It's made of granite. It weighed 20 tons. They finally got the lid off of it. And this is what was on the inside. Three decomposed mummies in sewage that had leaked into the coffin And this coffin had been buried for 2,000 years. Are you serious? Did it release the curse of the mummies? Well, I don't think so, but we're going to wait and see what it may have released. There's the head of the three uh, individuals that were inside. They believe these three men were all warriors, um, but we've got to dig deeper to find out just exactly if there were a curse. The skulls of the three decomposed mummies were pictured right there. And here's some of the work it took to get it done, okay? Um, Can you imagine as this was buried deep, deep in the heart of the earth as they were working so hard to remove the casket? Actually, take the lid off of it. There you see it. That's the lid. And you see one guy finally sticks his head in there to see what's on the inside. I, I, this guy, I don't know if he's, he's... Are you serious, dude? If that thing breaks, it crushes him, okay? There'd be a fourth head inside the mummy uh, casket. But there you see it. They used wood. They braced it. They kept using crowbars. A lot of work involved in trying to crack open the lid of this uh, sarcophagus. Um, they shimmied it. They did all kinds of different types of abilities. There you see it to try to get the lid off of the mummy. But they finally did get the lid opened. And there was the three um, mummies in sewage. Now, if you ever listen, some of the most demonic books ever written are the books of the, the Book of the Dead, which is written in Egypt and was found among the pyramids. It's called the Book of the Dead. It's the most satanic book ever written in humanity. All right? So did they release the demons of hell? Did these guys release the demons when they set these, uh, you know, when they uncovered, when they broke open this granite tomb that was nine foot in length? There you see what they found, the skeletal bones. This thing was huge. These three... Uh, mummies were very large, okay, as this is a nine-foot coffin, so, and quite wide. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy, but certainly we're living in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. I'll be live tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. We'll get you up to speed on all the current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. But the mummies... The mummies are being released. What? Eyes wide open. Are you serious? The curse of Egypt.